Hi everyone, welcome. In our last few lessons, we've been working with the verb adorer, which can mean in French to adore, to love, or to really like. And we've been working with adorer and a noun. So we can use adorer to say that we like things. In this lesson, we're going to learn something new. When you conjugate adorer, you can follow it by an infinitive to say that you love to do something or that you adore doing something or that you really like doing something. So first, let's review our conjugation. So I love, remember this can also mean I really like or I adore, it's all the same. All we need to do is add your ending here. So we have our root adore and then the ending for je, j'adore, j'adore. Do you love, the informal you, the ending to adore, a s. He loves, the ending is e, il adore, she loves, the ending is e, elle adore. One loves, we love, they love, remember the on, on adore. And finally, you love, this is the formal you, but the singular form, vous adorez. So we have j'adore, tu adore, il adore, elle adore, on adore, vous adorez. Okay, so now the fun part, we can add infinitives after the conjugated verb to say that we adore doing something, we really like to do something, we love to do something. So I've chosen the infinitives manger, to eat, nager, to swim, lire, to read, voyager, to travel, cuisiner, to cook. So now let's look at all of the things that we can do with the information that we have here on the screen. If I want to say I love to eat, I would say j'adore manger. I love to swim, j'adore nager. I love to read, j'adore lire. I love to travel, j'adore voyager. I love to cook, j'adore cuisiner. You love to eat, tu adore manger. You love to swim, tu adore nager. You love to read, tu adore lire. You love to travel, tu adore voyager. You love to cook, tu adore cuisiner. He loves to eat, il adore manger. He loves to swim, il adore nager. He loves to read, il adore lire. He loves to travel, il adore voyager. He loves to cook, il adore cuisiner. She loves to eat, elle adore manger. She loves to swim, elle adore nager. She loves to read, elle adore lire. She loves to travel, elle adore voyager. She loves to cook, elle adore cuisiner. One loves to eat, on adore manger. One loves to swim, on adore nager. One loves to read, on adore lire. One loves to travel, on adore voyager. One loves to cook, on adore cuisiner. Remember that on is commonly used for uh, we, in other words, instead of the nous. So if I wanted to say we love to eat, we would say on adore manger, we love to swim, on adore nager, we love to read, on adore lire, we love to travel, on adore voyager, we love to cook, on adore cuisiner. Okay, and our last one here, you love, you love to eat, vous adorez manger, you love to swim, vous adorez nager, you love to read, vous adorez lire, you love to travel, vous adorez voyager, you love to cook, vous adorez cuisiner. You can really say a lot in French if you understand the information on the screen and you know how to put it together. So I hope that you're excited that your ability to communicate in French is growing by leaps and bounds. Thanks for watching. If you found this lesson helpful, I would appreciate it very much if you'd give it a like. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. A bientôt.